thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. My dear friends, this is the new moon in the sign of Sagittarius, which will took place November 29th, 2016. Okay, so this is close enough and I really want to say something about this new moon in the sign of Sagittarius because this is very, 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 very good um, new moon for all of us. Now, first of all, this uh, little introduction, music introduction, uh, uh, the name, the title of this song basically is Greeting the New Day with a Smile and uh, uh, I choose uh, this uh, song because if I need to if I need to choose like a key word for this new moon in the sign of Sagittarius, this exactly would be it. Greeting new day, new dawn, new face in, in your life with smile. Because Sagittarius as astrological sign, it is about optimism. So, uh, you know that every single uh, new moon, basically, uh, this is new cycle new uh, rhythm uh, that we need uh, to know little something about it and we need to implement this kind of energies uh, inside uh, inside of us so this is all about optimism greeting whatever basically is coming your way there is no need you know for fear of any kind because this is so unlike for Sagittarius people in general. So this is you uh, basically uh, wanting to implement any kind of new relationship, new friendship, new job, new people and even new habits. So basically you will have a chance. This is basically what New Moon, every single one, not only this one. New Moon basically is trying to give you something new. So try to, try to, you know, take a risk. Just take a risk. Meet somebody new. Give a chance to somebody new to basically enter into, into your environment because this is good for you. So new moon in the sign of us, in the sign of Sagittarius is all about taking a risk of some kind, any kind. Second, this is about motion. So you need to move much more than ever before uh, then you know Sagittarius people Sagittarius a sign astrological sign basically in general uh, they have always ability to see wider big picture not uh, not uh, the Sagittarius people they, they cannot see maybe one one tree but uh, they see uh, the whole uh, the, fo the whole forest you know the whole forest so this is basically what you need to do not seeing only one tree but you need to widen your perspective you need to see all at once the whole forest in front of you so your perspective is going to be totally totally changed believe me or at least this is chance which are going to be given for you to change your perspective or your of your own life okay uh, restlessness this also could be big uh, subject big uh, theme while we have this uh, uh, the moon uh, new moon uh, um, in front of us so take you know sometimes go within yourself try to explore you know what your restlessness is all about of course everything depends uh, where you have uh, the new moon in a sign of Sagittarius. Maybe this is your first house. Maybe this is your 10th house. Maybe this is your third house. Maybe this is your seventh house in a natal bird chart. And I will explain that a little bit later. Then again, if you are not kind of outdoor uh, person, if you don't have this kind of outdoor personality, now in upcoming days, weeks, and maybe a couple of months, you will express this new... Uh, wish from inside of you, of of yourself you need you need some kind of outdoor activities as such so any kind of sports will do so um, change your expectations 
try to try to even demand something even totally new from from yourself you know and above all a uh, big theme in your life is going to be uh, the truth so you will realize you cannot mingle with people who are dishonest now this is another big 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 theme uh, in your life you just cannot do that so you are as usual very 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 honest especially Sagittarius people because this is your thing but all uh, all all other people we all all 12 astrological sign signs kind of you, you will find out that you cannot mingle with people who are this honest so uh, speaking the truth is a big 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 theme uh, in in your life okay uh, another theme which basically you can expect understanding yourself uh, your path which also could be a new one you can understand so much easier all people in your surroundings meaning your friends your colleagues uh, even your superior your children there is no kind of you know putting pressure you you will never put pressure on other people and you will never allow that other people pressing you so this is this is the benefits of the new moon in a sign of Sagittarius now you need to cross some kind of um, um, borders that basically you set uh, who knows how many years kind of you know before so you will cross your own boundaries this is another big 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 subject uh, for you uh, all of a sudden uh, you may take uh, some interest into philosophy and uh, your soul purpose basically what is your soul purpose you want to know spirituality of course all of the sudden will become very very important for you you can easily meet so many new people and so many foreigners so many foreigners and um, you will have opportunity especially if this is the uh, the new moon in the sun of Sagittarius basically in your first uh, house uh, so you are going to you are going to be so you know without any kind of uh, taboo uh, no boundaries no big expectations but at the very same time you will invite the very same kind of people and you can mingle you can talk and even you may fall in love with this type of people not expecting kind of uh, much but getting 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 very very much so uh, internet communication is going to be also the big uh, theme so basically why we have every single month new moon in another um, in, in another astrological science because moon change rhythm within uh, within us so you need to change your rhythm try to in, in uh, try to uh, try to um, uh, what is the word um, in uh, income I cannot recall um, uh, try to take at least two or three subjects that I tried to to explain to you 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 don't have to income in in incomplete all of them but try try to put at least two or three two or three of those subjects that I just mentioned uh, to you okay so basically if you have uh, the new moon in a sign of Sagittarius and this is your first house you will find out that you are so much more open toward everything in your life um, your personality is going to be kind of uh, um, different in a good and positive way because uh, you can cope with any kind of changes which basically are coming in your life so much easier so basically this is this is your theme okay uh, new moon in the sign of Sagittarius uh, for if you have this uh, event in your second house your income could be better and especially maybe this is your current job but for many of you this is new job with foreign companies because money will come from some uh, foreign uh, company if this is your third house having the, the new moon in the, in the sign of Sagittarius in your third house basically this is short trips with 
group of people, this is your friends, this is most likely, could be your relatives, but most likely this is your friends, and most likely new one, totally, totally new kind of, let's say, uh, astronomic group of people, astrologers group of people, uh, something, something of that kind. Um, you can open a blog, you can open YouTube channel, this is also kind of big thing for you. Okay, new moon in a fourth house. Uh, maybe you will move uh, out from your house uh, or, or with your brother or with, or, or with your sister, maybe because of your siblings, uh, because maybe you will find out that you don't want to be with your brothers, sisters and with your parents all together. And most likely you will choose to move to some uh, uh, other town, uh, distant place, um, another state or something like that. Fifth house, a new moon in a fifth house, you can fall in love with, uh, with foreigner very, 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 very easily. Now, this is a big theme if this new moon are going to be placed in your fifth house because you need to understand uh, other people foreign um really foreign uh, people um other cultures uh foreign language and this also might be might be big big thing for you maybe you will find yourself learning because of new love interest uh, learning new uh, new foreign language as well in your sixth house okay many people you will realize that uh your vibrations basically are changing. Maybe for the first time you will you will change your diet and you will become a vegetarian. Uh, not only uh, because you do not want to be you do not want to take you know part of slaughtering uh, animals, because your vibrations basically are changing. You cannot eat meat anymore for moral cause, and this is of course very very good. Seven house, new moon in a sign in a in a sign of Sagittarius placed in a seven house. Now, this is important one. You can meet new love, uh, new uh, love interest, uh, or basically uh, you are going to be. If you already know this person, this is engagement, uh, and your partner most likely is going to be um, a foreigner. This is very easy to 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 predict. In your eighth house, now this could be a little bit uh, difficult, maybe not difficult because uh, uh, this is all uh, some kind of lesson that you need to experience. This is not bad, this is not, I want to say, but you need to understand some sexual uh, needs. And this, this could be awkward, but this is your need, sexual need of some kind, and you need to explore that also. With the new moon in eighth house, you can understand basically so much easier what occultism is all about. Uh, occultism, this is not nasty word. Occult, occultism means occult, occult. Something is hidden, so you need to explore what is hidden. Spiritual world is hidden still. Because still majority of people, and even we li we're living in 21st century, still spiritual world is hidden because maybe you are not ready to meet spiritual world as such. But now, with displacement, new moon in the sign of Sagittarius in your house, you need to explore what is hidden. And what is hidden it is your karma your spirit spiritual world what is behind death death what you can expect when you die this is like a big 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 theme for you okay ninth uh, natal uh, chart nine nine house um uh, the uh, new moon in the sign of sagittarius this is new culture you need to meet people from new culture and this is exactly what you will have a chance to do you can travel you want to meet other people um, uh, races you need to meet other races because you need to understand something about um, uh, foreign people you need to learn something about other people's uh, religious religious belief system and this kind of things okay uh, 10 house 
and the new moon in, a, in your 10th house and the sun of Sagittarius. This is very, very easily invitation from company abroad. Do not wait because this is blessing for you. Do not wait. Say yes and just go for it. Okay. 11th house in the sign of Sagittarius with the new moon. You need to do something for free. Believe it or not. You need to do something for free. So choose what is basically... Uh, the most uh, kind of known to your heart, but do something for free. And finally, 12th house with the new moon in the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, now this is tricky. Please listen. All of a sudden, out of the blue, a karmic past love partner may enter into your life uh, now. You need to deal with it. Uh, I can tell you this much, ain't gonna be easy, but you will fall uh, in love uh, basically madly. Uh, but I can see, because this is 12th house, uh, oh my god, you need to experience, uh, most likely this is long distance relationship. This is meeting of a man and a woman. Um, this is a different uh, races, love, this is different b b relig religious belief system. And most likely your parents is going to be against uh, your love. Uh, but this is what it is. You need to experience, you know, some trouble, some difficulties. Because this is, uh, try to understand, this is because your own sake, you need to learn through these uh, difficulties. Maybe this is a strange thing for you. Maybe you're still very, very young. But you need to go through these difficulties because you need to learn something. You need to experience something. But this is what it is. Past love partner will most likely enter into your life now. So my dear friends, once again, thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for listening my YouTube channel. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, please. Uh, if you like this video, then don't hesitate. Press this like button. And please... Do share this uh, video with your friends. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.